Welcome to the Automotive Blockchain channel, everyone. Hey, I'm all back on camera again, kind of getting used to this thing. I just want to put it out there like that. But hey, this is going to be a doozy of a video for you today. This is going to be one of those videos where you know that uh, some of you out there may have that friend where that was like a crypto nut. All they do is talk about cryptocurrency this, cryptocurrency that, Bitcoin this, XRP that, and you just want to tell them to shut up, all right? Well, this is going to be one of these videos. This is for you. Not the not my subscribers and the people that like tune in to stuff, but for you out there that's kind of new trying to figure this thing out, hey, this may drop kick you in your teeth a little bit and you might go, you know what? I should have invested, but also it's going to be, I say that in jest. It's also going to be one of those things where you're like, hey, maybe I could do my own research and follow channels like this one and many other ones out there and figure out what would be the best situation for me. This is not financial advice. I'm just going to be telling you the uh, the currencies that I am investing in for myself. All right. So here we're going to go through about eight of them and we're going to be looking at what manufacturers are, you know, what uh, distributed ledger technologies, blockchain technologies that manufacturers are using. And then we're going to look at how much of those cryptocurrencies were worth literally like summer of last year. So you can start to think about this. I mean, wait a minute. We're in this big old dip right now, okay? Maybe now might be my chance to kind of jump in. I don't know. After I do a little research, you might be able to do that. So what I want you to do then is think about if I invested $10, $100, $1,000, $10,000, $10, whatever it is into what you think is comfortable for you, if you would just think about if you did it then, where would you be today, all right? So... We have up on the screen, as you can see, VeChain. Uh, VeChain is currently sitting at uh, 11 cents or about 10 cents uh, right when I was uh, shooting this video here. And last summer, okay, last summer, September going into August, it was at one cent, folks, okay? It was at one cent. Now you can see over here, it was doing that dip. And you're going to see on all these screens, we're in the middle of a dip right now, how much it is traced back um, literally about 50% than what it was. So just going back in April, it was up there on 25 cent range. So if you think about it, it went from one cent to 25 cents. Is it safe to say that you would have went 25 times your money? So if that was $100, where would you be? If that was $1,000, where would you be? Just something to think about, all right, uh, of your overall investment. Now, who is utilizing VeChain right now, all right? VeChain is being used by, uh, in this particular case, you can see VeChain and BMW are developing a car security platform. That's what they are doing, a car security platform to make sure that the vehicles are safe. And hey, I've done videos about all of these particular um, DLTs that I'm going to be covering today. So you can go ahead and uh, search through my channel, do your research, and be able to find them. All right, so that's VeChain. Let's go on to the next one. Let's move on to Engine, all right? Engine, engine number nine, going down Chicago line. If the train should jump the track, you better go ahead and you might want to invest, Jack, because it's one of those things. All right, so it says Next Gen NFTs. Engine is one of those companies that uh, has moved over into NFTs. Um, and who is utilizing Engine? All right. Now, what are they doing specifically in the automotive industry? Well, also BMW. Okay. So BMW quietly integrates Engine token in the BMW Vantage app. I did a video on this too. Out in Korea, they have a v BMW Vantage app where you can go on there and utilize the application um, to uh, for a number of different things over in North, or excuse me, South Korea, not North Korea, folks, South Korea. Um, and you can actually earn these uh, Engine tokens as you're using utilizing app doing different things and you can use it in this uh, in a uh, in a store environment to go ahead and spend your coins so that is one of the things that they're doing there and if you would have been looking at engine uh, back uh, during the summer again and where was it at it was at 15 cents looking at September uh, August of last year was at 22 cents and it ramped up engine ramped up uh, around its peak close to uh, as you can see here on the screen, yes, I know, $3.45. So yes, let's just get this straight. Last year, $0.16, cents, and it escalated up. It, it just literally ramped up to over $3, all right? So that is insane gains that you could have had. And yeah, okay, we understand right now it's sitting at $1.28. It stepped back literally 50% um, in its overall gains. I got that. But once again, think about where you would have been. Let's move on to the next one. I like this next one. Uh, and we're going to kind of keep it German. We're going to move over into uh, Ontology. Okay. Now, Ontology is a is a uh, is a DLT that's being used by Daimler, Daimler Mercedes Benz, and what they're using them for is Daimler partners with Ontology to transform the driver's experience. Uh, and the overall driver experience with that, what they're looking at is through Ontology's decentralized blockchain solutions, drivers will enjoy a suite of new, highly secured digital driving services. And that's one of the things they're looking at there. 
Um, and you can, you know, I'll try to, maybe I'll put some links down at the bottom for some of these that you guys can read about. But look at this, ontology. Again, last summer, we're looking at this. August or going into August of last year, you can see that. Uh, it was sitting at 88 cents. It ramped up. It escalated up. It boomed up to two dollars. Uh, what was it? Two dollars and 69 cents. So again, gains on top of gains on top of gains. And all of these that I've mentioned so far, with the exception of Engine, Engine, I do not own any of that. Um, I own some of these. All right. So uh, I kind of bag a lot of these because um, I'm holding out for the long term. And one thing I want to keep it want you to keep in mind. Okay, keep this in mind. The automotive industry is moving slow. They are slow to kind of change and ramp up and and be uh, you know influential uh, with respect to the technology on a mass scale. But when they do it, they do it big. Okay, they usually just last to kind of talk about it. Now that being said, all of these particular uh, companies that I'm mentioning today, not the OEMs necessarily. I'm talking about the the DLT companies, the blockchain companies. They are actually doing a number of different projects outside of automotive. This is just the automotive side. All right, so keep that in mind. They have a lot more projects going on overall. So that's ontology. Let's move over to one of my. Uh, I have a lot of favorites. Let's move over to another one. Okay, and this is going to be. Ocean. This is the Ocean Protocol. Now, Ocean Protocol, we're staying, sticking around with Daimler. Ocean Protocol unlocks the value of data. Data owners and consumers use Ocean Market App to publish, discover, and consume data assets in a secure, privacy-preserving uh, fashion. Ocean holders can stake liquidity in data pools. Now, okay, that's all fine and dandy, but how is Daimler using it? Daimler trials the blockchain data protocol with Ocean Protocol. All right, what are they doing? Ocean Protocol, it tells us what it's all about. Um, so, but what Daimler's doing is Daimler is using blockchain and an AI organization, Ocean Protocol, that they were going to be using them for decentralized data exchange. And I've mentioned this in previous videos, but when it really boils down to it, there's a lot of data going on that uh, between the manufacturing of the vehicle, the mining of the resources, and they want to make sure that everyone that's in their supply chain is all going to be able to share that data. Um, but yet keep the data that they want private, private, and be able to share data that they need to back and forth um, to help their supply chain out. All right. So that is Ocean Protocol. I get it. But where was Ocean Protocol sitting? You guys should be just kind of going, wow, if I would have just done it then, if I would have just did it then. And so many people are focused on Bitcoin. I get it. But there are other areas, these low cap uh, kind of uh, coins out there that you could be investing in because that's what I did. I'm not saying you have to do it. You do your research. You figure it out. All right. But you look back here, going back. I mean, let's just look at December. December was thir uh, three cents. Going back, if we wanted to, back to July, it was two cents. It, it uh, rocketed up here in less than a year. It was sitting at, you know, look, $1.74, a little bit higher than that, $1.76. And yes, it's retracing during this dip run. Is this a time that you may want to look into, you know, getting in? Maybe you will, maybe you won't. I already know that the Automotive Blockchain channel has already backed up and, and bagged a few more. Uh, put them in the trunk. I put them in the trunk. There's plenty of luggage room back there. Trust me, there is. All right. So we got that going so that is ocean protocol now let's move over into the internet of things all right the internet of things i did a video with larry peng of iotex um, about uh, this uh, this technology i really really like iotex iotex is uh, the internet of trusted things and uh, i actually have uh, one of the ucams uh, that they talk about in here um, but the uh, overall uh, vision that they have with uh, IOTEX is being able to put everything that you own your own data and that no one else does. Uh, it's it's a very big company. You can go ahead and check out the video. Larry Pang, uh, not just my video, but Larry Pang does a lot of great videos. But IOTEX is the internet of trusted things. And how are they being utilized? Again, we're going to stick around with Daimler. And, um, and we're looking at this chip market. Now, everyone knows who's in the automotive industry that there's been this big kind of, uh, you know, well, it's, it's very, very significant um, decrease in chip making. Literally, there are no chips out there. It's really hard to come by. Dealerships, especially here in the United States, are trying to find inventory. They're selling more of their pre-owned cars. The pre-owned market is high. Okay, so what is being used over here? This is WiseKey. WiseKey is selected by IOTEX to ensure integrity in manufacturing by using secure semiconductors with blockchain. Secure semiconductors. And I'm just sitting here thinking, with all of this chip manufacturing shortages going on, I'm wondering how IOTEX is going to pan out with that. Now, yes, IOTEX is not um, IOTEX is not directly associated in the automotive industry. Larry Payne does talk about how it could help the insurance industry out. Um, but how is this? But WiseKey is integrated with 
Daimler, okay? Wiseke signed a perpetual license agreement with Daimler AG a couple years ago. So Wisekey is using, uh, Daimler is using Wisekey for their chip manufacturing and their chip making. And it just so happens that uh, as part of one of the projects that IOTEX has with Wisekey, um, they're integrated there. So I kind of use that as a tangential saying, you know what, I wanted to bag IOTEX because of that. I like their technology, I see where they're going, and I can see how technology such as this uh, UCAM is uh, being able to uh, help change some things too. I'm actually going to see if I can try to hook it up to my dashboard and see if I can drive around with it. So if, I, if I'm able to successfully do that, I'll go ahead and put it on the video. All right, so if you would have just thought about investing in IOTEX, okay, if you would have thought about investing in IOTEX, IOTEX last year, right at September, was sitting at uh, 0 0.009, less than a penny, folks, less than a penny, all right? And where did it uh, start getting out uh, just over this past month or so? It was sitting at seven cents, all right? It got up to seven cents, close to eight cents. So you could have bought it at l pretty much 0 0.008 and gotten it at seven cents, almost eight cents. You had almost 10 times your amount of money in that sense. All I'm saying is you have to think about what would have $100 done? Wow, I would have had $1,000 right now. What have $10 done? Hey, I would have gotten a t good tank of gas right now. It's just one of those things you got to think about. Pay your taxes. Um, but that is just something that uh, you can have with that. Now, let's move on to another one. All right. I really like the, uh, this next one here. Uh, this next one is IOTA. IOTA, IOTA, IOTA. They are integrated fully in the automotive industry, big time, all right? They are harnessing the power of mobile connectivity or connected mobility in vehicles, and they have a great platform uh, in there. One of their the great platforms that they have that I always talk about is EDAG, um, and that's uh, another German company. Um, but what is who is using IOTA? And that is Volkswagen. Volkswagen is using IOTA, and this is just a quick header there, drivers and autonomous vehicles to get help from Volkswagen IOTA partnership. And they go out and they talk a little bit about that on how the emerging technologies uh, and utilizing the internet of things will be able to help Volkswagen. And you have to ask yourself, okay, well, what if I were to invest in IOTA? IOTA would boom, baby. It boomed. You got to just start thinking about this. Where was IOTA? Okay. IOTA was sitting at, once again, Looking at September, about 26 cents. Where did it end up going to? Uh, as of April 15th, 25 cents. And as you can see, it went up and down. And as it's going down for the dip, but even at the dip, it's at a, a basically at a dollar 10. Now, do you think it's going to get back up there? Uh, it might, but what about the all-time high? And I wanted to focus on that. A lot of these cryptocurrencies and their all-time highs, they haven't even come close to that. And I get it. 2017, a lot of investment, a lot of uh, a lot of things going on. Uh, it, some people FOMO'd into it and lost a lot of money. You may be a little uh, a little shy on investing again, but still, all of these 99% of these are not even remotely close to their all-time highs. All right, let's move on to Stellar. Okay, what about Stellar? If you don't know who Stellar is at this point in time, they have so many projects going on right now throughout the entire world with uh, cross-border payments and intermittences. Uh, unbelievable. Definitely do your research on them. I, I love them. I bag them all the time. Uh, so who is using them? Porsche. Okay. So you have over here uh, blockchain key technology of tomorrow. All right. And uh, so Porsche is actually using them for... Uh, for their uh, for their for their, some of their initiatives and just in case you were wondering yes for those of you who don't realize this uh, that's part of the Volkswagen group and now if you would have looked at Stellar just not too long ago again uh, many of you realize that not too long ago it was sitting at like nine cents last year and it has a little gone up to 71 cents this year alone it's just one of those other things now I'm going to move over into this last one and this last one I want you to start thinking about it. Your vehicle, the vehicle you are driving now, is literally a big thing on wheels. It is the internet of things. And everybody knows that it's about the infotainment systems and where things are going and having connected cars to the connected grid, to connected cities, etc. It's going to be happening, all right? So when you, when you, in my mind, when I think about the overall connectivity and all things coming together, I think Singularity Net, all right? I really do. Now, Singularity Net in and of themselves, they have not... Um, come out and really said too much about what they're doing in the automotive spectrum. They're a platform. They create, uh, you know, they're a platform for developers to go in there and be able to develop various tools utilizing Singular Net for artificial intelligence. Okay, your vehicle is is a very very intelligent thing, but it's not artificial generally intelligent. And if you're wondering now the differences on that, artificial general intelligence is like this. I, I believe Ben Gortzel said it this way. He said, you know what? 
You can teach a car to drive um, and go from point A to point B. And I'm kind of paraphrasing what he said, but that's pretty much all it does. But you can't teach the, you know, you can't teach that uh, that car to drive like a motorcycle. Okay, you just can't do that. So it's just one of those things that uh, that happens. Uh, now, if you were looking into Singularity Net, and there's all sorts of places where you can you know, kind of invest in Singularity Net, um, I like to, you know, me personally, I like, uh, you know, to buy it and then and then I like seeing what I can do to uh, stake it over there uh, on Singularity. Now, that being said, last year it was at six cents, and here's the thing: uh, if you go back to June of last year, it was at a penny, one point, pretty much one point seven cents U.S. All right. So if you were like me and many other people buying it back here and bagging it all along, just holding on. And then all of a sudden, what happens? Ben Gortzel is talking about Cordano and the integration with them. And the news starts coming out with some of the other great projects they have going on. And you start seeing these spikes. And where did it end up going up to? You know, we're looking over here in the 50, above 50 cents, folks. So you could have bought it for literally uh, what is that? A penny and went up to 50 cents. So, hey, everyone, look at this. These are what eight different manufacturers or seven different manufacturers that utilize DLT and blockchain technologies within their infrastructure to bring on the fourth industrial revolution. That's what they're doing. OK, and then you got Singularity Net that can tie it all together and tie all the 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 connected cities with the cars, etc. Uh, and infrastructure wise, they have that capability built in. Did you miss out? Ask yourself, did you miss out? Did you miss out? No, you didn't. In my opinion, you did not. There's plenty of time to invest. There's plenty of time to do your research. I'm not your financial advisor. Do your research and go ahead and look at just the automotive companies and what they are doing. And every single one of these uh, platforms, these uh, DLT and companies that I've mentioned, guess what? They have many other different projects that they're working on. That's why these things have, in many cases, hundreds of millions and billions of dollars of capitalization. I'm just saying, think about it, think about it, and look at this. Thank you all for joining. Don't forget to click, subscribe, do what you need to do, and I look forward to seeing you next time.